you remember the, the wonderful ones and you remember the terrible ones. The ones that are sort of mediocre in between, carers forget about. But they're the two that you, you will always remember. Um, had a nurse when he was uh, in, he was in care for five years in rehab, uh, two and a half years, 12, uh, 24 hour care, and then two and a half years, 12 hour care to prepare him to move to live independent, into independent accommodation, live, live away from us. And he had a nurse down there and she was like a best friend. You know, she she even went into work because he wanted to join this club down South Endway. Uh, in her own time, she was on annual leave, but she took the time out to go into work and help him fill the forms out. The ones that go that extra mile, salt of the earth, really. Just for them to... I think if they can't understand what they're actually going through, just don't take it as being a job. Don't just do the job because it's earning you money at the end of the day and not care about the patient or their families. It's do it because you really want to help them and it may not be the greatest paid job, but you're doing it because you are learn that you're helping someone at the end of the day and that it's a closed area that no one really ventures into. And at the end of the day, they may shut their door and go home, but we shut our doors knowing that we've got to go back into them and keep on dealing with it and dealing with it. And that just to give some support and some guidance along the way, really. And that's what we want to see, I think. Not just people that go in and do it for a job and then leave at the end of the day. Do it because they want to be there and they want to help and try and make a difference. And then I've written about a CPN and it's called Seeing the Light. And he would say to me, I feel sure your son will make it. And that's that's actually in the poem. and and. I can remember saying to him, oh, Ian, you know, you know how really is. This, I, I really can't... Yeah, I think he will, and I think he will live independently, and I also think one day he will work, maybe only part-time. That was what he said, maybe, and he only works part-time. But at that time, I could not even conceive that that was going to happen because he was so very ill. So that is the difference a, care, a, a professional can make to a carer because your words will go round and round our heads. Either, well, that's where he's going to end up, or I feel sure your son will make it. And that lift that he used to give me helped me to cope with everyday life.